So Twigsy, you've brought the boys up to Holden today at Go Ape and it's a break from the normal training routine. Uh, what do you think they've got from it all? Uh, for the lads, once they get into the season, they end up into a little bit of a routine and it's really good for us to be able to get out and, you know, there's lots of sites out around Devon where you can get out, you can, you know, build on team bonding and all those really good sort of things and have a little bit of humour as well. You know, you add a bit of humour into the team culture and it just gets away from that, you know, what can be a monotonous environment into, you know, something that's a little more stimulating, it's outdoors and the guys can really get into it and have a laugh together. You've obviously done it in the past by taking the boys out to with the Marines, down to Exmouth. It's, it's just challenging them in different ways. Yeah, it is a big challenge for the lads. Different guys, obviously, when they're, uh, you know, we challenge them physically when they're at Sandy Park and on the tactics of rugby. Uh, but come away from that challenge, you know, when you get guys at height, some guys, you know, have different challenges out there, uh, whether it be that they're afraid of heights or whether it be the spatial awareness of having to actually work out how to cross an obstacle and how to do certain things. There's a different, you know, everyone will meet a different challenge at different times and it just provides that different environment for them to have to, you know, work to, which is really good. It's great having a facility like this right on our doorstep as well. Max and the guys have really looked after us today. Oh, absolutely. You know, you can't question the... Uh, I think it's a, a general thing that works. You know, Devon, Cornwall, wherever we go, wherever we do, you know, you're very, always met warmly uh, by the people that you work with. Uh, you know, I've always got lots of time to be able to work with the lads, uh, take them in and uh, have a good sort of chat and then get them out and doing stuff. So, uh, you know, there's there's great facilities down here and all the guys seem to bond really well to, the, uh, to all the locals to do these. From your old experience in the Marines, you're used to sort of Tarzan, the salt courses down at Limpston and that. Who would make a good Marine out of our boys? Oh, you know, there's, there's some of the youngsters that are out there, young Henry Slade, those sort of guys. They're, you know, they're, they're biting at the bit and really good and really confident at height. Um, but, uh, but in general, you know, there's a lot of things that where we've worked with the Marines, I suppose, over, over a couple of seasons now, uh, you know, that you can see a little bit of that mentality in a lot of the guys and really ingrained in the team culture in general. Uh, they've, they've all got that little bit of cheerfulness in the face of adversity, uh, you know, confidence at heights and uh, show, you know, not worry about show your fear, just go out and have a good laugh, even if you are scared. Brilliant. Thanks, Lucy. So you've had the Exeter Chiefs up here at Go Ape at Holden Hill today. Uh, what, what have you made of it all more than anything? It's a magical day, I think, for everyone. Bit misty, bit gorillas in the mist sort of thing, <laughs> but uh, all the team looked like they all gelled together and had a good time out of it, I hope, yeah. Tell us a bit more about Go Ape and what happens up here. 
Well, it's been running company-wide now 10 years, six years up here at Holden Forest in this family business. It's gone from strength to strength and, you know, high wire adventure course, zip wires in the trees, zip slides, you know, you can't really go wrong, it's a win-win. For the boys though, it's a chance for them to get out of the normal rugby environment and try something else. Uh, all about teamwork, things like this. It does, well, you can see how they came together at the end there, you know, all looking after each other to a certain extent there. Uh, some nice landings in the zip wires as well. Some wood chip being flown around there, Matt, possibly a drama of that. But no, I think they've all done really well and yeah, had a bit of a day out for it, yeah. And for families coming up here, you start at what sort of age group? 10 minimum yeah. to come on the course here. We've also got a height restriction of 1 metre 40, so that's pretty important to check before you set off to come up this way. Uh, two and a half to three hours, you know, set yourself a day away for it. Don't mind getting a bit muddy like the guys have, and yeah, I'm sure you'll have a great day of it, yeah. Like we said, you're right on our doorstep from the ground, it's literally a couple of miles away and that, but uh, do you follow rugby yourself and, and get into it? <clears throat> I'd like to say <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm more of a, a surfer, unfortunately, down this way, but uh, some of the lads here are, indeed, you know, it's pretty impressed to have the guys up here, and uh, I think we'll be following a little bit more closely now, so. And do you see some good technique from the guys up there? <laughs> uh, a lot of Zimmer frame action from a couple of guys at the front, and I've coming away a bit gripped, but uh, no, some very, some strong, confident people up there as well. You know, some of the guys jumping off the big Tarzan swing, backwards, upside down, that malarkey, so, you yeah, know, really took to it, absolutely. Brilliant, thanks, Max. Great stuff. Hey, stay calm. Don't say it. Stay calm. I am calm. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I've had, unfortunately, I've got evidence.